hello. <laughs> um, uh, anyways. I have been procrastinating doing this video idea because I don't want to ruin this new sketchbook that I got. I got this sketchbook in like April of 2023 last year. So far, so like I have this front page. I added uh, a lot of these stickers on the front are from different artists that I love. And as you can see, I have this nice, lovely uh, front page. And uh, these were some like old sketches that I did that was in like a small notebook. This was from the, the stamp video that I did and just some more of my own sketches like this one here and this one here. Love these little guys. Um, and this one is also one of mine. And this is, sorry for the ring light here, it's causing a glare. A lovely little sticker page from some stickers that I designed. This was like a little Christmas gift idea that turned out really fun and a little sketchbook spread here. So yeah, basically like I've got some stuff in here, but not a lot. I've, I do like these little breads here. Basically general rough sketches and rough ideas that I have. Oh, and then there's more writing. <laughs> and uh, some more like rough sketch type stuff. You know, actually now that I'm going through it, my sketchbook isn't as perfect as I felt it was. That's about it from what I've shown so far. But as you can see, I have not used my sketchbook a lot. This time around, with this sketchbook that I got, I tried to set it up as my like pretty sketchbook. I feel like I've been procrastinating using this a lot more. I'm so overwhelmed with the idea of like trying to keep this looking pretty and like I feel a lot of pressure to not mess up with it. In order to lessen some of the pressure on me, I'm going to do an ugly sketchbook spread. Uh, yes, I do have some hash browns here because I was wanting a little snack with, uh, you know, some sauce, some lovely dipping sauce that I threw together. Get yourself a little snack, get your sketchbook. Let's do an ugly sketchbook spread together and ruin our sketchbook. I still feel really awkward recording myself still, still. So uh, bear with me on that. I don't know if anyone else has done this format before. Like, I don't know if anyone has done like a do an ugly, sketchbook spread with me kind of a thing. Funnily enough, I actually don't watch a lot of art content on YouTube, really. Also, <laughs> uh, don't mind my Justin Bieber hair right now. It's extremely long. It looked super cute earlier. It's just kind of grown out a little bit, so it's in my eyes. What was I talking about? Oh, right. I don't really consume a lot of art content, mostly because I watch Let's Plays and most of the art channels that I've come across, I feel like are, they're like super aesthetic. They're super, which is good. Like it looks really good. And I'm not, I'm not bashing that at all. Like that stuff is, it's peaceful and like relaxing to watch kind of a thing. It's something that you can kind of just have on in the background while you're doing something else. And that's definitely what this can be too. It's just for myself personally. I wanna find a way to make it fun and entertaining for myself. And hopefully it'll make it fun and entertaining for you guys too. I went on a whole ramble again, but <laughs> I, I feel like a lot of art content is geared towards being super edited and super aesthetic looking and, and trying to make it look super pretty and everything. And I just would like to show the reality of that, like the reality of, of art and the fact that even good artists have bad days too. I'd like to help encourage other people, like if you want, you can get your sketchbook out and just put a giant scribble on the page. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be pretty because from personal experience, taking things baby steps at a time. That's how I've been able to keep up a drawing habit for myself and also enjoy drawing too, because 
it, it's a lot of pressure on your shoulders to try and make your sketchbook look super pretty all the time. Which, by the way, I have never finished a sketchbook in my life. I may have gotten close a couple of times. Also, all of my sketchbooks are probably not good looking either. I also, I wasn't sure if this spread would turn out pretty or not. I mean, I went into it with the intention of it being ugly, but I don't know if, if anyone else has ever experienced like not taking your art seriously and then you end up shitting out a like masterpiece in 30 minutes or less. Um, I've had that happen to me before. I had... <laughs> I feel like a lot of people who go viral always have this saying of just like, oh, I didn't expect this to like get super popular. Like I didn't expect this to blow up. I didn't expect to get as many views on my video as I did. I mean, obviously everyone hopes that they can get a good amount of views on their video, but like my channel has been so small for so many years that I really was only expecting to get like, 100 views if that and like that's still amazing honestly like it's crazy and i always appreciate if i get views on my video because i'm just like who who wants to watch my stuff you know but it <laughs> uh it did really well and like i don't know if by the time this video comes out if it'll have gotten even more views or whatever by the time that i'm recording this it's like my channel says that it has 400 subscribers. Who are you people? Which part of me does not believe that because uh, I feel like <laughs> like half of them are bots. Uh, but I don't know. Like I just I have a hard time believing it. Anyone who has just recently joined the channel, thank you so much and. Also, for the people who left such nice comments on my video, uh, thank you. I ended up having quite the humbling experience right after my video kind of like popped off a little bit. It's just like, oh, this is so great. I did so good on my video and stuff like that. And then I ended up spilling an entire cup of coffee into my boyfriend's headphones. And let me stop you there. I know what you're thinking. How can you spill an entire cup of coffee in someone else's headphones? <laughs> and to that I say, you haven't met me. <laughs> no. Uh, so I was like, I was sitting at my boyfriend's desk and he was showing me this, this new game. It's called uh, Bellatro. And we both got like sucked into it. He was like showing me the ropes of the game. And we were both getting like so excited over it and just like, fully invested in the game and then when we were both gonna you know stop there and probably pick up some food or something <laughs> I was wearing his headphones while I was at his desk and I had my coffee with a long straw long metal straw because you know uh save the turtles I guess <laughs> I had his headphones on I went to take his headphones off and I somehow simultaneously knocked into the straw for the cup, then knocked the cup over, and as I was following through with taking the headphones off, the coffee... Also, this is cold coffee, by the way. It wasn't hot. I don't know if that would have made it worse or not. But yeah, so I... <laughs> the coffee just went all into the headphones, like literally all into the headphones, because they're like over the ear. And I felt so bad. I felt so bad. I like profusely apologized. I just, I was like, if, if these are ruined, like I will buy you another pair of headphones. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and he was just like, honestly, it's impressive with how much coffee you got everywhere. Because while I got pretty much all of the coffee into the headphones, I also somehow managed to get coffee on his desk leg on the wall underneath his desk on the carpet uh, a little bit on the printer that was like next to his desk a little bit on cat bug our cat 
And also on his space heater. I got a good amount on his space heater too. It was insane. Just like I didn't think I had that much coffee left over in my coffee cup. But yeah, that was that was literally right after my video like popped off and I was just like, oh, this is amazing. And then I just I did that. So it's like the universe trying to humble me being like, you know, you uh, calm down. <laughs> I will say his headphones are are okay. If they ever give out anytime soon, I'll still offer to, to replace them. But man, man, I really felt like an idiot that day. <laughs> um, also, speaking of being humbled, I know in my past video, I gave the advice of Try looking for jobs elsewhere that might allow you to have a bit more flexibility with your schedule. I just want to say that advice still stands, but with a caveat, caveat, ca caveat, <laughs> with a caveat of, it's really hard to get a job right now. I'm currently struggling, even though I have certifications and stuff, it seems like jobs nowadays if you don't have any job ex like actual job experience then they're not interested in hiring you but it's like i spent all this time and money into getting this certification and schooling and like prep before like applying for this job isn't that experience enough literally that's experience of me knowing the field that i'm getting into like doesn't that count for something? But no, yeah, I have been having a terrible time with applying to jobs. And I feel like I've I've talked to some other people in my life too, and it seems like they're having a similar experience of these places are so bad when it comes to trying to apply to them. Like I literally had this one guy, this was over the course of like, I want to say three weeks. That's what it felt like. And it might have even been. So I reached out to this one company, sent them my resume. This guy got back to me and he was just like, I'd like to set up a phone interview with you. Give me three days next week that you would be available to do a phone interview. And I was like, okay, that's a little weird. Usually they just ask me like when I would be available to do a phone interview. But, you know, I appreciate him allowing me to give him options or whatever, you know, seeing what could work. Pretty much right away, I responded back and I was just like, okay, here are three days that I'm available next week between this time next week that I can do a phone interview. He never responds. He never gets back to me, never confirms anything. And so I'm just like, you know what? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Like it was kind of close to the weekend. So maybe because i think i gave him like monday tuesday wednesday of the next week um and so i was just like if he doesn't get back to me monday i understand it's the weekend kind of a thing because i think i had messaged him on a thursday the next week rolls around and i don't hear anything nothing the monday tuesday wednesday goes by i don't hear anything and i'm just like okay um i guess <laughs> i guess that's the end of that and which like also sucks that this is not an uncommon thing that like you'll just get ghosted by these companies that you try to apply to it's insane like the double standard of just like we expect you to be on your shit like we expect you to be professional and responding in like a timely manner and yet it gets worse so he doesn't respond to me for like almost an entire week he either messaged me on a Friday or on a Monday where he was just like, sorry for the delayed response. You never got back to me. <laughs> sorry for the delayed response, but are you available next Wednesday around this time? <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I get it. Sometimes stuff falls through the cracks. Like sometimes you just slip up with stuff. Maybe something happened in his personal life. I don't know. So I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I'm available next week around this time. I can do that. He never gets back to me. <laughs> he doesn't confirm if that, you know, if it's going to be a thing. And so I'm still trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. And I'm just like, you know what? He gave, he gave me this time 
and and date and this is a phone interview so like i'm sure i'm sure it's confirmed i'm sure it's confirmed wednesday rolls around <laughs> and i'm i'm sitting around waiting at that time he gave me like a a window or whatever and so i'm sitting there waiting the time like rolls up i don't get a call i was honestly like i was i was fed up also, I'm just kind of fed up in general of like trying to apply to jobs right now. And um, I got a little, I got a little, I got a little upset. Okay. <laughs> and so I emailed him and I was just like, so no interview. And I was just like, I don't appreciate being misled with my time. So 10 minutes later, he calls me and he's just like, I'm so sorry. I like messed up the scheduling. I actually set up your interview for tomorrow, even though he told me Wednesday and he was just like profusely apologizing. And, and normally I am trying to be like understanding and stuff. But like, honestly, I, it was not a good day to upset me. I was just like, OK, dude, like, sure, whatever. He was just like, I'm sorry. And I was like, OK. And he's like, I will call you tomorrow. I will call you tomorrow at this time. And <laughs> and so I'm like, OK, thank you, dude. OK, goodbye. And, you know, part of me expected that he wasn't going to call me tomorrow just because this whole situation was a bit awkward now. And he didn't. He didn't call me. He told me he was going to call me the next day. Didn't call me. <laughs> and so and I still haven't heard anything. And I don't think I ever will. So that was like the end of that. It's just crazy the way that these companies will waste your time <laughs> that was just a little mini rant sorry about that <laughs> i'm essentially back to square one which i'm okay with i've kind of like weighed the pros and cons of staying in the current job that i am in i think it's just going to benefit me more if i just stay in my current job that i have and it's all for like personal reasons Maybe once I'm like out of when I'm not working with the company anymore, I'll talk more about it. But I will say in my last video, the reason why I didn't want to talk about the work drama that I had was because it was like a manager that I was having an issue with. But I since transferred to another store and am in a much better working environment. And uh, I, I'll definitely talk about that some other time. I don't necessarily feel like going into it right now. I also just want to be honest with you guys. Like, I want to be honest with the people who watch my content. Like, I don't want to offer this perfect image of myself and, like, perfect advice that I have. I, I definitely still think that people should explore any job opportunities that they have. For sure, like if you can get yourself into a better job that isn't as like taxing on your your mental health or your body, you know, whatever it is, definitely do that. But just know that there is a disappointing reality when it comes to actually trying to apply for these jobs for most jobs. So I just want to like let other people know if you're also having such a terrible time trying to find a new job. I'm right there with you, buddy. <laughs> In fact, I've actually kind of given up. Here is the uh, the segment portion in this video. Leah listens to way too many podcasts and doesn't have enough people to share them with. This podcast recommendation segment is on perfectionism. Did I bump the mic? Uh, perfectionism. I feel like perfectionism is, is something that a lot of people struggle with, especially creatives. These two podcasts that I'm going to recommend both have uh, this man called Adam Grant. I forget if he is like a psychologist or like scientist or whatever, but pretty sure he's, he's like done these studies on perfectionism. I'm probably not doing him justice at all. But the two podcasts that I'm going to recommend is... How to Believe in Yourself by Hidden Brain. The podcasts that I listen to, they're off of Spotify. I do have like a Spotify premium. So you could definitely find out on Apple Music or hopefully YouTube as well if you're not wanting to like pay for a subscription kind of a thing. 
And the second one is Adam Grant, Practice Taming Your Fear. And that one is by Meditative Story. I also really like Meditative Story because I've never really been one to be able to meditate. Like I tried using Headspace for a little bit, but I'm, I'm just not like a huge meditator kind of person. You know, the anxiety <laughs> is, makes it really hard to quiet my brain down sometimes. But Meditative Story is really good. It, it really helps to just put my brain in like a calm state. There's usually um, like a person who is speaking, telling like a story from their life. And the music is so beautiful. It's so good. I highly recommend those two podcasts. It really helped change my brain around the idea of perfectionism and how to think about things differently from a much healthier perspective. I highly recommend those. Yeah, uh, going forward, I would like to try doing some like different video format stuff. It's just right now the sit down chatty stuff is the easiest for me, especially just in this whole job transition thing. But I would like to do some, some different video formats in the future. So it's, it's not always going to be a sit down chatty, draw with me kind of a thing. But I also really enjoy doing this too. I guess to circle back around, I would like to be my authentic self. I don't want to make it seem like I have like perfect drawing days and everything turns out good all the time. Because I feel like that's just kind of dis <laughs> disencouraging. <laughs> I feel like that's just kind of discouraging to any other artist like outside watching that. If you guys like this video and want to stick around and keep up to date on my uploads for my channel, then um, you can hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how to do this without feeling super cringy about it. Anyways, okay, moving on. I am gonna try and plan on doing one video a month. For some people that might seem like such a, a long time to go in between uploads, but that's honestly what is a realistic goal for me right now. I just wanna try and keep, keep expectations low. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I just wanna, I just wanna be realistic with myself. I've been rambling enough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.